Hi guys and welcome to your car show. Today I'm in the new Toyota Vensis. Uh, this is the estate model, so it's a bit larger than the sedan. So without further ado, let's just get to the review. All right, so design-wise, as usual, uh, you can see some upgrades on the exterior. This car comes with a pretty nice set of LED headlights. It has some nicer upgraded sports wheels, uh, 17 inches if I'm not mistaken. The car overall looks pretty nice and uh, it makes me think about the uh, Corolla that I've driven uh, not so long ago. Uh, it's, you know, it's basically like a bigger Corolla and then estate because obviously this is the estate as I was saying. I don't have much to say about the exterior. I mean, the car looks okay. Uh, it's not the most beautiful car I've ever seen, but it's definitely an upgrade compared to the previous generation. It just looks more refined and uh, with a, a better touch, a better finish, which makes this car more pleasant to the eye. As for the interior design, I cannot really say because I've honestly never driven an Avensis before, so this is my first Avensis. And um, yeah, no, it's fine, it, it looks okay. Uh, it feels way better than the Corolla did. The Corolla looked nice, but it, you know, sometimes it, it just felt a bit uh, on the cheaper side. Whereas this one, you know, you get more leather, the steering wheel feels nicer and um, places where you actually touch the car, uh, it's covered or uh, patched with uh, soft leather. So that's very nice. I think that's a very nice thing to have, especially in a car that again, is not uh, a luxury car or, or anything close to it. Just a nice daily, uh, just a nice daily driver. But enough about design. Let's talk uh, practicality. Uh, this car is very practical. Like you, you could fit a lot in this car. Trunk is like huge. It's humongous. And uh, as for the, the the space inside the car, you can fit five people, no problem. I mean, as usual, you know, it depends on the people and, and, and so on, but I think uh, five people uh, could, you know, sit comfortably here because there's no, I'm trying to show you, there's no bump here in that region. Uh, so uh, since it's a front wheel drive, uh, you get more space for uh, for the feet and so on. So that's that really feels nice uh, for the fifth passenger. Space-wise, we've settled. This is a spacious car, uh, and it you know it's meant to be because it's an estate. So uh, that's its job. It's to be spacious and and practical. But what about the uh, the materials uh, used on the inside? Yes, you get plastic, obviously center console plastic, but it's not that it's not the cheapest plastic you find on the market or anything. So uh, that's that's fine. Uh, you get some uh, like metal aluminium kind of trim pieces as well. Plus. The leather seats are actually very comfortable. Uh, they offer enough support overall. So yeah, you know, leather seats in the front, uh, leather bench in the back, uh, it's all the same. Very comfy, uh, decent. The, the seats look better and actually feel way better than the ones in the Corolla, so you can feel the, the upgrade. Because obviously the Avensis is supposed to be one rank above the Corolla, so... Um, you can actually, yeah, you can feel it. You can see it and you can feel it. And you can talk about the interior without mentioning the fact that, again, uh, this is a modern car, so you get all the usual options, such as the uh, USB, uh, the outputs, the GPS, the all the media stuff you want. It has touch screen. You know, you get lane assist and uh, all those little gadgets and uh, uh, tech slash security features people want nowadays moving on to the specifications this car has 110 horsepower and some amount of torque which i honestly do not know uh, I, I just don't know i haven't checked it out and i, I didn't i figured it wasn't that important uh, because uh, it's no sports car and on, honestly with the 1.6 uh, diesel engine it has it's probably no torque monster either or at least it doesn't feel like one from behind the wheel, which doesn't mean this car is slow. It's it's you know it's quick enough in in town. You don't need much more than that. It's also uh, very very easy to drive on the highway at let's say anywhere between 100 uh, to 130 kilometers per hour. Anyways, as I was saying, this car comes with the. Uh, with the small diesel engine, you get a bigger one, the 2.0. You also get petrol engine, 
uh, 1.8 so you know you got some choices uh, but beside that you can also choose between automatic or manual this is the manual I think it, it's okay when you're working the clutch you can feel a lot of vibrations the the gearbox it's not the tightest gearbox in the world but uh, then again this is an economy car handling wise this car is no handling monster but once again I doubt anyone's gonna be racing this car a lot so it doesn't really matter doesn't it lastly fuel economy well with the 1.6 you obviously get a better fuel economy than with the 2.0 uh, though it sacrifices some uh, some horsepower and torque this car on the highway was rated at, by Toyota at like uh, 4 point something, 4.5 if I'm not mistaken. Though this car, honestly, yeah, if you drive it at 100, yes, obviously. But most people are going to be driving it at 120 km per hour or, uh, or 130. So expect to get somewhere around 6, which is still a decent fuel economy for a car this size. In town though, it was rated by Toyota at 5.3 if I'm not mistaken. No, that's not gonna happen. Uh, count somewhere around seven. That would be more accurate. Now I've had this car for a week and it's been pretty good on a full fuel tank, which is, uh, I don't know, about 55 or 60 liters, something like that. I think 55 liters. I get range autonomy of over a thousand kilometers, which, which is very good. So you might wonder now, is it worth buying this car? And my answer to you is why not if you're looking for a practical estate that way way cheaper than like a, a Nave 4 or a, or a Mercedes C-Class. Yeah, this is a viable option I think this car is proven to be a good little daily driver <laughs> bottom line I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you have any more questions about this car or any other car I, I reviewed make sure to leave a comment or uh, I don't know send me an, a message on Instagram or uh, on Facebook and I'll reply uh, as fast as possible also don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more bye guys <laughs>